So once the process is completed, you should see a raster watershed outline um, on your screen. And I have turned, I have removed all the other uh, intermediate files that were not, that are not needed at this point. Now the next question is how can we convert this watershed, which is a raster form, into a polygon that will show us the boundary of the watershed. So for that purpose, go to search and look for the tool raster to polygon and start that tool the input is the raster image and the output is a polygon file let's call this watershed or let's call this lake LV watershed. Again, we want to form simplified polygons and click OK. So once the the uh, shape uh, or the feature polygon feature of the uh, of the watershed has been created you can turn off the raster watershed and uh, one last step would be to clean up the streams which means we don't want all of these outside streams that are not part of our water watershed so for that purpose uh, we'll use the selection by location tool and we are trying to select uh, from streams and we're basically basing it on Lake Las Vegas watershed and our selection criteria is completely contained in the source well if it's completely contained you know that this stream may not show because it's not completely con contained so we'll just go with the intersect with the source feature and then apply that and this selects all of the streams that are um, within the watershed. Now we can go to our streams, right click and data and export data and note that we are exporting only the selected features which are these selected features uh, or the selected streams and we want to save them in our geodatabase select geodatabase and let's call this lake lv streams Now we're going to clean up, remove all the unnecessary, uh, unnecessary files from here. Let's uh, change the symbol of, to reflect that these are streams and zoom to layer for the watershed. And let's change the boundary of the watershed to red color. So this is the output of our uh, lab, which basically shows the watershed boundary as well as the drainage network for Lake Las Vegas.